Husky Tools is pleased to present the proper way to use the PG4K test gauge. For this demonstration, we will be using the EP510HK hydraulic head and the TDK1 test dies. The first step is to make sure you properly install the TDK1 test dies into the head. To do this, advance the ram to expose the set screw. Back the set screw out so that the die can be inserted. Insert the die and then tighten the set screw to hold the die in place. To insert the other die, fold back the rubber cover on the opposite end of the head to expose the set screw. Back this set screw out, insert the other die, and then tighten this set screw to hold this die in place. On the side of the PG4K gauge, you will see a knob that shows release on one side and hold on the other. In order for the gauge to properly show the correct reading, you must make sure that the knob is turned toward the hold direction. This means that once the full pressure has been applied, the gauge will hold for the operator to read it. When this knob is turned to the release side, the gauge will release the built up pressure and reset the gauge to zero. When placing the PG4K gauge in the head, there are two proper ways that may be used. The first way is to insert the gauge so that the flat side opposite of the hold release knob rests on the flat part of the head between the dies. This way will help you center the gauge and hold it in position. The second method for inserting the gauge is to place the PG4K between the two dies so that the viewing window is straight out of the head. You need to be careful with this method because the rounded bottom of the gauge will roll side to side on the flat surface of the head between the dies. It is extremely important to slowly advance the ram making sure that the circle pad on the gauge is centered with the ram. Once the circle pad on the gauge is centered with the ram and dies, you may run the pump to full capacity and take your reading. If the circle pad on the gauge is not centered with the ram, you run the risk of damaging the gauge when full pressure has been applied. In order to get a proper reading from the gauge and your equipment, you should take three or four readings to make sure that it is consistently applying the proper pressure. When the pump is fully run up, your gauge reading should be just under 11 tons.